guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. We're going to talk about the game a little bit today in this episode, but we'll talk about that in a second. Breaking Brad, Arizona National Museum. Yesterday, biologist Brad Cook took a mobile lab. I've seen this. I've seen it. I've seen this mobile lab into the desert without notice. We're concerned he may have taken some ill-advised substances and gotten lost. Authorities say he hasn't been gone long enough to report him missing. We'd like to get in con contract with your team for a rescue operation. We can definitely do that. Um, <laughs> that's a, that's hilarious. I'm pretty sure we've seen this truck already. This uh, little camper van thingy. It's 100 percent, one million percent. Right, Brian Wilson. So the supply limit. <laughs> Sorry, my my voice is now. So the supply limit goes up by two. And scouting zone by 10 meters. Okay. Uh, binoculars or drones mark shortcuts. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what vehicle to go for here. Maybe let's go for the truck again. Potentially. I would do want to maybe purchase a truck. Maybe in this episode. Potentially. Uh, we did unlock. Was it a gearbox? An off-road gearbox. Ooh! Oh, yes. A strong gearbox, optimized for the harshest off-road conditions. Perhaps higher off-road performance and strength at the expense of fuel efficiency and top speed and gear count. Definitely, definitely want that. We unlocked something else, didn't we? I can't remember what it was, though. Oh, tires. Ah. So we unlocked... What tires do we have currently? We've got off-road tires. We unlocked these. Good, 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 good. So maybe these are slightly better in the mud. Uh, I'm not really convinced to, to part with my money at the moment. So we are going a different direction to what I expected, honestly. And we have sort of been here before. Um, How the textures? They still look a bit weird, don't they? I tried putting all the settings to ultra again, and then changing the textures back down to high. So I've been having issues with, with the textures, basically. basically. Uh, anyway, the biochemist went north across the river. We need to find traces. So we need to scan the tire tracks. Okay. This would be a good test, actually. Is, um, are these airdrops resupplied? I believe they are. They are. I'm pretty sure I took supplies from that one last time. At least I hope so, anyway. But so I could be... Should we be a bit more aggressive here? Just for the lulls? I mean, it says use five jack screws, so... We could try and go really quickly. <laughs> it's probably a stupid idea, but... Sure. So, let's talk about the game a little bit. I've... I've really enjoyed the game so far. There was a few, like, weird comments in the last video saying, Oh, because you got a free code. I like, honestly... Really? I honestly feel like I'm one of the only sort of Let's Play channels, at least the ones I watch anyway, um, that actually criticize... Whoa, that was weird. It sounds like, it feels like a loading issue with the textures. That is weird. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm the one of the only creators that actually criticizes the games when I'm playing them. And some people actually class that as being negative. I'm just playing the game. I may notice some things or something bothers me. And I'll say it. I will say it. Where I think some people have a tendency to just try and be positive the whole time. And again, it's nice to be positive. And it's you don't always want to watch videos where the person's negative. I get it. I completely get it. But I think the price point for this game, um, I think it's spot on. I think mean, forty dollars. I think it's thirty-five um, UK pounds. Is is actually spot on. I think that's oh this is surprisingly slippy by the way. Um, I think it's spot on. The texture's loading in. Um, one of my favorite parts of Snowrunner was when you enter like a new region and you go scouting. You try and find that 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 cool new truck or I don't know, that's one one of my favourite parts, man. It's actually quite hard to go across these bridges. <laughs> it may look easy, I promise you it's not. There we go. It's got a big truck, I guess. Yay! Deliver supplies again? Or for what? 
I don't know what I did there, but sure. That was weird. Was that a, was that a bug? <laughs> was that another bug? It does feel... Particularly with the lack of co-op, this game might have been rushed out the door. A tiny bit. That's not terrible, but there's definitely a few issues with, again, lack of co-op, textures, weird bugs like, I don't know what I just did there. Giving supplies. I think that's meant to be supplies for the bridge, but the bridge is already there. So, yeah. I don't know. Again, I think the price point, I think is spot on. There's so much content in this game. It's ridiculous. Would have been nice to have more trucks, uh, more vehicles, more more newer vehicles as well. So yeah, it's definitely not perfect. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to be playing this game thinking it's going to be like a 10 out of 10 game. Um, but again, from the, I think I've played the game for five to six hours, I think now. I've, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed my experience, despite some of the issues. I know cops are a big thing for a lot of people as well. It's not, not as, as as big for me because I don't honestly like, know many people that play a game like this. Righty, so we've got to try and find the tracks and find Brad. Another negative could be that we're already tracing our ground. We've been here before. Um, this isn't like a, a new area. We've, we've been here. That could be a negative. I don't know. I'm trying to be as fair as I possibly can. I don't honestly... Game review codes is like awesome. I would not just be like fake and positive the whole time. I tend to be positive anyway. I don't know just how I, I look at things. Judging by the footprint, Brad went deep into the, the caverses, but at least we know his direction. So keep looking. Okay, we know roughly where he's going then. Yep. Again, we just, it was the last episode, wasn't it? Where we, um, we was down here already. That's why it's 66% already, because I've already uh, been here. So he is, yeah, so 66%, 66 I'm not actually in the search area. Madness, what, is that an airdrop up there? I think it might be. Airdrop, are you up there? I can't go any higher. Really? <laughs> right, are we within the search area yet? We should be getting there. Uh, let's look at the map. What I will do is I will deploy my drone in a second to go up into that cavern and hopefully we can save Brad. I hope. Brad, I'll save you, Brad, I promise. If we can actually go up here. There we go. The percent's not going down. There we go. Keep going down. 71%. 73%. Keep going. Ignore the bad signal. No. <laughs> We made a bit of progress. Uh, let's head ooh, up to here first, maybe. So set a destination and sort of go here. This is like roughly where we, where we need to search. Right, go, go, go. So yeah, mixed feelings. Again, I think the price is spot on. If this game was seventy dollars, I would have a lot more a lot more issues with it. Put it that way. I know if you buy. See, like the season one DLC or whatever it's called. Obviously, the game does come up or early access to the game. That the price it does it does go up. But again, judging this on the full game, really, ooh, it's quite a big drop. Screw it. Boom! Oh, nicely, nicely done there. Very well done. Uh, this might be a bit more tricky, actually. Uh, I might be able to loop. We might flip over, but we do have a jack screw, so let's go for it. Ooh, nice one. That's fine. That was fine. Ah. Full power. Right. <laughs> I knew that was going to cause issues. I sort of went for it anyway because I thought it's not really any risks. We have a jack screw. The game wants to use a jack screw. I was like, floor it. Just go for it. Oh, we finally got the um, high and the low. It's got low plus and low minus. It's going to be very useful, actually. All right, that worked. <laughs> Anchor was necessary. What can I say? Ooh. Don't topple over. Don't topple over. Ooh. And there's been some sketchy moments in this one so far. 92%. We're getting there. Brad, where are you, Brad? 
Brad. Brad, we need you, Brad. Can't really get up there, can I? Just... Are we in the search area still? Sort of, yep. How do we get up there? So maybe using the drone might be useful. There we go. I did it. Conduct a visual inspection of the trailer. Oh, it's there. Okay, let's go. Are you going to move or are you just going to keep shagging that rock? There we go. Right, let's be a bit careful here. <laughs> so reverse. We're about toppling over. It is a little bit top heavy, this, this truck. But I mean, most off road vehicles are, to be honest. I haven't really got like a favourite truck in this game yet. I think it would be quite fun to maybe purchase a truck in this episode. We may have a look. I don't actually know if we have the money, obviously. I'm saying that we could sell some of our trucks. We do have multiples of the same one. Visual inspection. Oh, is it quite far away? It is quite far away. Not that far, but you know what I mean? I thought we was like, on top of that hill. It's just an airdrop. Oh, that's the first time that's ever happened in this series. I've been a bit more brutal in this episode so far. A bit um, more slapdash. The tyres were a reduced pressure, and I was basically going too quick for too long, and the game was like, eh uh eh. -uh. Oh, this is what we saw earlier. Oh my god, yeah, we're back here again. I remember seeing this. Right, is Brad okay? Let's scan the area. He's probably just got... He's got a woman in there, isn't he? Let's be honest. Got, got a lady there. He's having fun. He's getting high. Life is good. I'm sure he looks completely fine. Brad! Brad! I don't know if he came out. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. This really... This is really Brad's trailer. Good thing we found it. <laughs> It does look a bit damaged. That is true. Expedition is done. Haven't we... Have we discovered that gateway already? I don't think so. Waweep Bay has been opened up. And this difficulty is very, very hard. I don't know if I have the vibrator available. I think I, I, think I do. I think. <laughs> we to find out. Um, yeah. This could be, this could be interesting. Uh, um, do we want to potentially buy a new truck for this mission? Is it? It's not possible, as far as I can tell. It's I think it's too expensive. But we do have multiple of the same vehicle. We have two Don seventy ones. I don't need two, as far as I can tell. I don't. I just don't need them. I don't need it. So should I sell it? I should sell it. Goodbye. We have two of the step. 3 one ten e uh, trucks. Again, don't really need it. It's already got the vibrator on it. Man, I am I am living. Goodbye. That's actually a decent amount of money. I am now officially loaded. <laughs> it is done. Another Axion down here as well. Again, don't really need to. Love it. Bye-bye. Well, what would be a really good truck to buy? <sighs> Attempt to ford the river. Man, I need that. Oh. Where's, where is that? Attempt to ford the river. Why? Why? Yeah, I think it would be really nice if there was more trucks. Okay, we don't have any of the trucks we wanted. <laughs> None of the trucks we wanted are available. Fan bleeding testic. There's a couple of scout vehicles that we could maybe use, but... Yeah. We're fairly limited at the moment. Okay, fine. So the step is going to have to step up. I know. See what I did there? So we got the vibrator module on top. Uh, any other upgrades we can do? We can add a bit of more power. Power! So it's more like a modernized engine. <sighs> Go for it. Yeah, we're doing it. I mean, we have some money now, so might as well treat myself. Put a high range gearbox in. Um, oh, a lift kit. One sec. Does, if I put the... 
Which one's Bella? Can I put... I mean, look at the power. That is going to be so useful. Does it, does it really lift it up? It does a little bit. But can I still run the module? Ooh. Yes. Okay. So I can still have the lift kit on. Okay, that's good. Uh, tires. We currently have pretty much stock. Well, I say stock. They're probably not stock, actually. But So there. These are probably the best options for now. Yep. Get rid of those. Stock winch. Nope. Do not want a stock winch. Thank you very much. We have no snorkel. Definitely had a snorkel on. It could be quite useful. Um, a rear mounted rack. I do love a good rack. That sounds really well. Um, some spare parts or fuel? Let's go for fuel. And we are going, we are stocking at this vehicle. This is going to be a hard mission and we need to be ready. Yes, we do. Get it done. Get those visors on. Whatever we need. Whatever we need. I don't, well, I don't want just a spotlight. That's annoying. I can put, I can put stuff on it. I can. Oh, sweet. Oh, no. It's too, it's too light kits. <laughs> no, it's just a light kit. Of course it is. Ah, oh, so we do have the reserve. So what does that do exactly? Increase emergency supply of fuel and spare parts that allows you to find a way out of the most difficult situations. So how, where does it go? I mean, I'm all for it, but... Okay. Do we have any idea how much that adds? That, that was a lot of money. Yeah, I'm just, add, I'm just adding literally everything to this vehicle. Oh, yes. I love these. The side mount racks are so good. I love them. I adore them. Um, let's add just spare parts on both, do you reckon? Yep. And a spare wheel. Very nice, very nice. Let's go for a that exhaust. The, the biggest exhaust possible. Let's go. I actually prefer the stock rims. Yep. Um, these are all locked. Is there any stickers that aren't locked? No, okay. Well, I guess we'll leave it then. So, yeah, it's definitely more ready. Um, but this is going to be a toughie. This is going to be a toughie. I am concerned. Right, I've been looking for this gateway, or this bay even, for a, a very, very long time. Uh, I think I found it. Um, and there it is. I've now discovered it. Yay! It's weirdly close, not that close, I guess, to the other gateway we've found in the Grand Canyon. Um, but yeah, I don't know how we're going to get there, but we've made quite a journey. So the best way to get there is go back to the main base, the field operation base, and then just head um, east. It's probably the best route to get there. That's how I got there. Um, the game doesn't really say like where to go. It's kind of like, yep, <laughs> find the uh, find the gateway. Enjoy. Right, how are we gonna get down from here? That is a no flight zone. Why not? What's wrong? So if we could go down that way, maybe. Definitely can't go right. Let's try this way. Uh, what could go wrong? I had a rough idea of where to go. See that? That's where I left my my, my waypoint. But so far, so good. Uh, hasn't been the easiest. Just trying to find the objective, which is always which is always fun. Uh, I'm glad we're making progress, though. Uh, this is where remember we found that plane. We're roughly where that location is. We're roughly near it. I need to get down again. Do, 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 do. Could use an anchor. Could, I should be okay to go down there. Let's go! Steps doing alright so far. Not too bad. So it runs fairly low, so you can sort of hit the engine bay quite easily. Uh, I'm pressing left, but it doesn't want to go left. Great. God damn it. Oh, look, there's a wonderful tree here. Lovely. Thank you, Tree. Weird, that thing seems to go perfectly to plan when I'm not, like, talking and I'm going to cut a certain part of the video out. And as soon as I start talking again, that happens. <laughs> Instantly. I've been completely fine the whole way here. Unbelievable. Right, jack screw. Put it over there. That that's, feels like cheating, but sure. 
Yep, place it. Wow. That is um, interesting. Particularly if, I, if you played SnowRunner. That is uh, very interesting. <laughs> oh, what I would have done for that device um, in SnowRunner. So many times. So many times. I have no idea. It's so funny that. It happens all the time with me. I'm not recording or doing a video. Everything goes perfectly to plan. As soon as I start talking or recording, it goes horrifically wrong. What is that? Is that pressure or a distraction? I don't know what it is. I'm a bloke because I can't do more than one task, I guess, maybe. Ooh. 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 Just want to look at a route here. That's, that's not doable. They're not making it easy for me. I swear there's nothing like this. All the textures are working. <laughs> Magical. Um, yeah. There's nothing really like this in Snow Runner. I don't feel like this sort of location, this amount of verticality. Some of the level design in this is mad. Right. Progress. Progress. I feel like I'm cheating now. Using that jack screw for the first time. It's a weird feeling. Particularly if you put... I'm pretty sure I've played Snow Runner now for like 100 hours. It's so ridiculous. It feels, it feels weird. It feels very, very weird. Using a jack screw. Uh, I must admit, by the way, the rock physics, the way the the, the tire reacts to the, the rocks, is so much better in this game. So much more realistic. I feel like in Snow Run it was a bit like, oh my god, it's a rock! I can't go on this rock. But rocks are pretty good. Like you can grab onto rocks. Cars like rocks. Um, well, Off-road vehicles do anyway. But I'd definitely take a pretty sharp left here. Uh, fuel's and a little bit low, but we do have some backup. Obviously, we paid for a pretty good reserve as well. I don't know how we use that emergency reserve. Is it in the car automatically? But, are we getting pretty close here? To this gateway? This is a pretty big moment. I jumped into this expedition. I had no idea where I was going. I may have had to do a, a little Google search. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Just couldn't find it. Where do we go? And here we are. There's a viewpoint here, actually, as well. I might as well do it. The gateways are really weird in this game. Um, in SnowRunner, there's not like a tunnel or some kind of link between like, the next area. But this is just, a, it's just random, which is interesting. All uh, right. Device. Binoculars. Ooh. If you look at that view, incredible. Is it a viewpoint as in like we press A? Or is it just use the binoculars? You funny man. Oh, what's this? Can I move it? There we go. South point. That plane does look really cool. It looks like something from uh, Uncharted or something. Anyway. We made it to the gateway. I don't know how long this journey is going to take to do the rest of it. We've, this has been quite tough to get here. I'm going to look at this game right now. It looks so good. It looks really, really cool. It looks so pretty. It's such a pretty game. Right. An area streaked with water spaces. Oh, no. Rivers, reservoirs with extremely high elevation changes and difficult terrain. A real test for tourists, not to mention moving on, not on foot. Oh, lovely. So lots and lots of water. Luckily, we did have a snorkel before we entered this expedition, and I'm glad we did. Yeah, there's quite a bit of water, actually. <laughs> there's quite a bit. There's quite a bit. Right, so do we know roughly where we are going? Here. So let's set a big, fat destination waypoint. There it is. This could be an um, interesting journey. Okay, we haven't been here before. This is completely brand new. It's going to offer some new tests. It sounds... It does sound rough. It does sound rough. What's this? 
the power of water. Oh, you got it, Let's just try and get there, and then begin the survey, the vibration survey. Okay, this uh, module was in uh, SnowRunner. Come on. What? What the hell was that? The branch. You ain't slowing me down. Or maybe you are. That doesn't look too bad. I don't know why you're struggling. Alright, fine. Be like that. Maybe lower the pressure a little bit. Come on. It's really not that bad. There we go. Um, yeah. Where do we, how do we go from here? <laughs> Might be time to whip out the, uh, the drone. What the? What the? Where do we even go? This is out of madness. Right, turn the car off. The car? The vehicle. Off for a little bit. Well, this is bad, isn't it? It's an airdrop. My saviour. No, I don't, don't want to go that way. Right, let's do it. Whip out the drone. Let's see if there's like, any kind of route we can take here. I need to get onto the other side here. This, this is madness. Do I need to try and drop down into the water? Is that an avenue we need to take? Yeah. I think that might be the way. I think that might be the only way. And we've got quite a journey here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Again, we don't really know the route at the moment. We just don't know which which is the best route to go. Which is kind of exciting, but also kind of terrifying at the same time. Like, I guarantee we are one million percent gonna get stuck here. Like it's it's one million percent gonna happen. We do not have the vehicle for this right now. And it, I'm quite heavy. Oh boy, wish me luck. Wish me luck. So we're going down here, are we? Is there enough room for me? Oh boy. Good start. Great start. Great, fantastic start. Uh, I think we're going to get stuck here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't give up. Move! Oh, this is not suitable for this truck. This is insane. Why is the game even let me do it? Is it even possible? Am I supposed to come down here? Do I have some anchors I can maybe use? Damn, I'm barely even moved. I think I've gone backwards. Can fit there. Come on. There we go. Move! I think we are now one zillion percent stuck. I mean, that is. It's not a pretty size, is it? What the? I've got through it. I actually got through it. Well, at least for now. Please don't get stuck on something else. Yes! Keep going! Another tree! Yes! Oh! I have a feeling that was not supposed to be possible. Boy, I didn't give up. I didn't give up! I must stuck again. Ooh, there we go. Thank you, trees. We love these kind of trees. Thank you. Okay, we're going down to 300. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oh. I don't know how we got through that, but we did. 
Woo! And now we have to start dealing with um with mud. It's breaking, breaking my vibrator, thank you for that. Thank you very much. Oh this looks muddy. This looks very muddy. This looks very muddy indeed. I couldn't see a different route though. This is the only route I see that would potentially work. Like, we really could have done with um a better truck in this this situation. Uh, this is a. Uh, it really is not up to the task. Maybe I can. Come on! Okay, top tip: if you're gonna do this mission, this expedition, um, get a better truck. What is going on? I can't make any progress whatsoever. Or find a better route. That's also a good piece of advice. That would do. This is a, a trees and stuff to like grab onto. I'm not completely like by myself down here. Woo! This has been a weird episode actually. Things have gone fairly interestingly. But bluntly. I've been recording for a while. I don't think the video is gonna be that long so far. Um, it's been it's been a struggle. <laughs> it's been a struggle. Probably shouldn't have done this. It did say very hard. And we've only just started playing the game recently. We don't have all the trucks or the upgrades that we probably would have liked. So maybe potentially this wasn't the best idea. We'll see. If we can do it, then it's worth it. If it is a no-go. A complete no-go, then maybe we wasted our time. Try and stick to the slightly higher mud. How's the um, the water? It, please tell me it's like really shallow. It's pretty shallow. I'm definitely concerned about the mud. Oof. Yeah, I mean, look, we're stuck already again. Oh, hello. Go onto this branch. It's pulled me along. Starting to run a bit low on fuel. We do have some backup. I just hope we have enough backup. Whoa! Yep, that works, I guess. Whew. The tree that saved us almost screwed us over. Stuff you can't write. Stuff you can't write. Well, I'm going to do... Across this tree, yeah. This looks pretty um, rocky. I'm just going to pause it here. We're going to try and fuel up. Do we have much fuel? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Ah! Where's like the reserves? I spent like 5,000 on like massive amounts of reserves or whatever it was. Emergency reserves. I guess they don't. Man, I do not have much fuel. Ah, oh. seriously? God damn, you're kidding me! I'm gonna fail this due to fuel. That's an absolute joke that happens. Oh, what an annoyance! All this way, all this way, and I run out of fuel. Unbelievable. That happens. I don't even know how we even get there yet. <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. Fuel is looking sketchy as hell. Very, very sketchy. We're just going to be quite hard to sort of turn onto it, if that makes sense. Just to be in a truck. Oh boy. This is a stupid bridge. <laughs> this is a really stupid bridge. You turn? Yeah. Really? It's a bit like, 
almost like stuck the woo in there. Nothing about this has been even remotely easy. Oh, what is that? What kind of bridge is this? Oh, come on! Okay, I think semi on it. Jesus. <laughs> this has not been easy. This is like a... Um, freaking like doing... Uh, I don't know, after like part 10 or something. Not freaking... Not now. Right, we're actually in the survey area, which is good. be super useful to find this. Super useful. To find like a, a hot drop or whatever it's called. Hot drop? That was, um, that was tough. Right, so where do, we, where do we need to try and search? We sort of go around here, don't we? There's something here. Ooh, there's an airdrop there. Really? I don't see it. I thought we were going to make it anyway, but... Go! Can I run it? Oh, come on. Just turn, man! Just turn once in your life! Just turn properly! Go! There we go! My god. I think it takes some damage here. Here we go. Engine's gone. Engine's stunned. I can see the drop now. Oh, you are kidding me. I can actually see it as well. We drop into like a low gear. Will that help? Oh, that is agonizing. It's literally just there drop. Which I'm guessing would have fuel on it. Oh boy. Yep. And it's gone. Shoot. And we're done. <laughs> Fan bleeding testic. Just, just, just great. Just great. There it is. What an absolute shocker. Urgent repairs, just because I think that's the only one we can really do at the moment in time. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. Observation towers are essential for keeping disasters at bay, but for all they do for us, we must take care of them. First things first, what conditions are they in? Um, that's for you to find out. Bring us back some photos and we can assess how much um, degradation they've suffered from the elements. Okay, so that's, uh, I don't know what vehicle to go with here, actually. It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Um, maybe the Action, I think, maybe? Or the Don, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I really have no idea. Um, let's go for the Action, I think. Might end up regretting that. Uh, jack screw, anchors, I might take some fuel. If there's space, yep. Let's do it. I think we're ready. Maybe some more jack screws or some more anchors. Because the fuel, we've only got 80. I'm pretty sure we have more space than 80 available. Maybe I'll try and use those uh, airdrops if you see any. Well, that's a good start. All right, so the first how we go. Let's do this. A little bit of assistance. Jesus, it's a weird reaction. You really don't want to get out of that rock, do you? There we go. <laughs> Very reluctant. I could have lowered the pressure there, to be honest. Let's do that. That might help. I'm trying to go too quickly. Look at that. Epic climbing skills! Go! 
I've only got four gears. I guess that's because we've got the um, off-road gearbox installed. Righty, this is the first tower. It doesn't look in the best nick. I won't lie. It looks. It does look a bit a bit damaged. We have to get this one done though, because this is the only expedition in this area that we can really do right now, realistically. Um, yeah, we just don't have anything else really available at the moment. Yay! The tower's almost fallen down. It's only supported by a tree. I, yeah, that's true, actually. Hey, we did it. Picture has been taken. Right, where do we need to go? Wow. That is quite the journey. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, all right. Slightly nervous, but let's do it. Let's do it. So across the wall, sir. First, let's try and get down to that. Uh, this is pretty, oh wow, hello, broken textures. Nice to see you. Should we, let's have a quick look at the map again. Head that, head back down the way we came, I reckon. Unless you want to just throw myself off that. Yeah, probably should, I should, probably should go back the way we came. Probably the best idea. I was tempted to use maybe an anchor and let myself drop, but we may need those anchors later on. Just how do we get up here? <laughs> so the thing is over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so professional. It's true. Oof, Jesus. I do pick up some speed sometimes. It does like, surprise you a little bit. Use the suspension. Use it all. How far have we got to go? Quite a long way. Quite a long way for the second tower, but hopefully we can get there in this episode. I hope so. I've been recording a long time. It's just one of those episodes that hasn't quite um, quite gone to plan, but you know, these things happen. Not every time we do work or school work, it doesn't always go to plan, does it? It's just one of those occasions. Just gotta grin and bear it. <laughs> Keep working. I must say there's like a shortcut to like quickly drop the tire pressures down to low. And then back up to high again. What's this? I've not been here before. It's not. Lost cargo. Right, so to get to... Let's sort of head down again. No, no. Somewhere. Basically next to that tower again. I've gone down. Yeah, that tower is some serious repair work. Some serious repair work. This isn't where we just was, was it? That'll be not frustrating. I think we've gone down at like a, a level. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. That wasn't good. I think we might use an anchor there. Because the water's literally just there. Let's see how this goes. Right, anchor. Deploy. Put you there. And I will attach to it. And let's, let's go. What could possibly go wrong from doing this? He says... I do kind of like it. Should I let go yet? <laughs> Yay! Oh, careful. Yeah, all good. All good. All good. Woo! Damn. We did put a snorkel on this, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. Oh, that's deep. That's 
That's what she said. Nicely done. Nicely done. Are we making progress? We are. We are. <laughs> it's always nice to see, isn't it? A bit of progress being made. That's all you want. Should I? Oh. I'm really tempted to go straight here. Just for the lols. I know it's probably not a good idea, but... Uh, echo. I mean, we can try. Might not be better in it. I would not advise doing this. I'm fully aware it's probably a silly idea, but... It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too deep. So... Wow. Fair enough. I impressed myself there. The Axion delivering. Definitely, for me, the best early vehicle we've had. By a pretty big margin. It has delivered. So, no, it's quite a little thirsty boy, isn't it? Look at the fuel. Wow. So I'm hoping we can um, grab some fuel here. Maybe some spare parts or whatever we've got. Maybe even an anchor. Or a jack screw, that will do. Um, take the fuel. I don't know if I do. And some. Oh, it's a little bit more. It's taking it all. Uh, spare parts. Yes, load him up. So I've got loads of fuel now. Uh, I've got some scraps as well. Lovely. Let's begin the journey. It's probably where it starts to get a little bit tougher. It's probably been a little bit too easy so far. <laughs> Joke. Probably trying to plan my route out, but... I'm going to sort of try and take... The, the best sort of route for now just or just the, the one that I see in front of me and just sort of see what happens or see if we get stuck and oh, bang into things then so be it if I can deliver on this expedition it's a slight bit of redemption for this episode just a slight bit So I'm going to try and go see that little hill there just in front of me. Sort of like a north west direction. I'm going to try and go up that hill and just try and keep going. And hopefully we will see the tower on the horizon. It says. Keep going! Oh. This is like a slightly pointy rock there, which is not letting my wheel move at all. And the, the vehicle was just like, nope. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that one bit. Um, do you see something over there? What is it? Ooh. A pond. Sure. Sure. Okay, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> a pond. An actual pond? Are we talking a water pond? Have I have I been really stupid again? I don't know what a pond is, do I? Yeah. Okay, just ignore that, Scott. I'm sure someone will let you know in the comments in a very sarcastic, rude manner. It's all good. I'm really hoping this is a good route. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, I guess that's the route we're going. Sure. Does this look like the most insane route, or are we doing okay here? I think it's okay. Yeah. I think it works. Oh, dude. Just lower the pressure a little bit. Not all the way. Because you really can't get any speed without breaking the tyres. Action! Down to 600. on those tyres. It starts flashing at me. Is it alright? It's actually not too bad. I'm getting a decent amount of speed with lower pressures. Interesting. Obviously the fuel efficiency won't be as good. Yeah, I feel I thought like this thing just feels different. It is 
in elements of this game is definitely like a copy and paste of SnowRunner. <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Like, there's very familiar trucks, familiar gameplay. But in some ways, it's like quite different as well. I wouldn't be doing anything like this, really, in SnowRunner. I wouldn't be exploring to this, to this extent. I would be doing a delivery on a road and then maybe going on the road for a little bit. Some of the conditions in this game feel pretty severe and you do need those, those little bit of extra devices to help you out sometimes. I think if you're a fan of Snowrun, I don't see why you wouldn't like this game, personally, but it's all a matter of opinion, I guess. But I'm hoping this is still the right way. Please. So we can wing it. See the tower yet? Let's have a look. I believe that is the tower. All the way. Over there. It looks more. Uh, it doesn't look as broken. There's definitely a route up there, actually, as well, which is good. That's good to see. It doesn't look as broken as the other one. I guess it's good news for the government. Oh, man, I thought I got away with that. <laughs> I tried to slow him right down. I know it's going to be a little bit of a slam, but shoot. I think we've done that pretty well. Oh, we're not there yet. Yeah. So this is the, um, remember the entrance, the sort of cowboy area. And I think we actually spotted this tower as we came in. I did try and fast travel over here, but you, you can't do that. Um, believe me, I tried. I definitely, definitely tried. Don't you worry about that. Uh, yeah, I think we can cut there. looks interesting right maybe lower the pressures a little bit let's see what we might do use the devices we have at our disposal yeah that's that's the that's the best way i spot it from far pretty far away it's definitely the best route so that's uh lower the pressures just go just go stair for now there's quite a few rocks here Last thing I want to do right now is tumble down this hill. It's definitely a cool back these towers to, to, to SnowRunner. A new climb. Come on. The Axion has done me proud in this one. I've asked for vehicles to deliver, and this one has stepped up again. It is a very good off-road vehicle extremely good. It has delivered when I needed it most. Another climb, the me go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> go! You're not stuck, surely. What are you stuck on? I should have find a gear in. Alright, let's drop back down. Try and turn a bit. There we go. When I when I make a mistake with this vehicle, it's my fault. Do you know what I mean? It's not. I can't blame the game. We did it. Scan away. It doesn't look as bad. Definitely needs some repairs. We're yeah, nowhere near the first tower. Just some, a few little extra screws would be fine. <laughs> Whoop! Done. Oh man, I'm gonna eat a very well-deserved lunch now. I've been record recording for quite a while. I super appreciate the support. The video's not turned out um, as I respect, as I hoped, but these things happen. Um, hope it's still been a fun video, seeing me struggle. <laughs> oh boy, right, let's try and get this photo in. Jesus, the camera's so sensitive. Right, it's in focus, but what, what zoom range do you want? 
He wants it like that. Perfect! Is it done? I've got to explore the area as well. What area? Are we not done yet? Oh, what? Why? Why did he want me to explore the area? I, I was literally just there. Oh, I thought we were done. I thought we was done. How incredibly naive of me. Are you kidding me? Why? That is not something I expected. Um, wow. Let's set a destination. Wow, wow, wow. I thought we was done. <laughs> we're still going. How has that happened? I've got to go. Hey, I'm, oh, wow. This game has ruined me. I, I thought that was it. Going to both towers. I did my, I did my, I did my work. I took the pictures. He wants me to explore a random area. Why? <laughs> Why? Well, I'm going to order my lunch anyway. Give it one sec. All right, my lunch has been ordered. I was getting hungry. Right, do not screw this up now. I would imagine. I mean, I'm complete. This is complete guesswork right now. I would imagine after the area has been explored, it should be done. Maybe. Really have no idea. I have no idea. So you see, we've obviously, even though we haven't um, been doing it as part of the mission, you see, we've sort of explored the area already. I'm sure it will get to a point where we've probably explored that region already, and it's just explored. Like we don't need to go back. We've already sort of mapped it out. What's the best route to get there? Uh, there's like some kind of like dirt path thing here. Um, hold to delete. So maybe go to there. So like loop round. Let's all try and get there. So use the drone as well when we get there. That's always super useful. Should be good for fuel though. We should be good for spare parts. Famous last words, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go more left here, don't I? more right, sorry. I don't wanna go up there. I think I do anyway. Um, how deep is this water? Uh, try to go right here. We can do it, we can do it. We can do it, we can do it. Oh, one sec, is there something blocking my route here? I think there might be. We should have enough spare parts to fix it. I sure hope so, boss. I sure hope so. I've actually enjoyed this expedition, though. The last one, not so much. Not so much. Hope we clear this path. Also, be obviously useful for later. Oh wow. Oh yeah, we should be fine. Yay! Can we still get can we get through there. I mean, yes. Um, let's lower the pressure a little bit. Right, go! Come on, Axion. You've delivered so far. Got a little bit more to go. Give you a well earned rest. If you manage to do this. Is this the. pretty much in the area now? Or? We've got a little, bit, a little way to go yet. Come on, look. You can see that percent go down rapidly. There's definitely something cool about this game. 
exploring any like snowrunner and mudrunner game when you're exploring like new territory is really really cool i do like doing it uh this way i guess let's try and ride this rock trying to get two wheels on it no that's very bumpy don't flip don't flip there we go success so this is what you want me to explore. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Not quite there yet. Uh, let's try and get a little bit closer. Probably haven't taken the wrong route here. That would... See, there might be a way up here. Yeah, there is. Ow, ow. Sorry, tyres. Glombersen, go down! Do it. Go down. Please. Give me a sign that we're in the right area. I beg. This expedition's taken so long. It's now night time. What I really deserve right now is a really cool upgrade. We just fly mandibly. We're in the area. We did it. We did it. So I'll keep going along this path. That's a good idea. Using the uh, truck, of course. Oh, fuel is starting to look a little bit sketchy. We actually don't have that much fuel left. Unless it's stored somewhere else. Uh, then go... Sort of cut across here, that works. Yeah, that works. Mm. What I might do from here, try and send out the drone. We've done about half of it now. What are we looking at? We're we looking at like a space for like maybe. What tower is that? Have we been to that tower yet? I have no idea. My navigation skills are not good enough. Is that an airdrop? Do, do, do. Hello, Mr. Airdrop. Eighty percent. So I can't look at the map when I'm in the drone, which is kind of annoying. 88, 90, 91, right, how are we doing? Uh, we need to go a bit to our sort of left now, so send out the drone again, go over here, not that you guys can really see much because it's absolutely pitch black. What? Are you kidding me? There's another tower. You're kidding me. No way. There's a third tower. What is... This is madness. Oh my god, I actually can't speak. Um, wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. So, if we go back, maybe, sort of loop around here... And then sort of go up here to the tower. Is that about right? It has to be it, right? This has to be. I'm going to just skip to daytime because I just don't want to... I was so comfortable. I mean, I wish I had more... More fuel now. God. Let's get juicy again. Where's my waypoint? Is it back there? Yeah. See it. have enough fuel. Jesus. So if it tells me to do something else, I might be screwed here. Right, so back on... Let's go. I'm going the wrong way. Turn around here. That's the last thing I want to be doing right now. Let's go the wrong way. Yeah, well. right. 
Go, go, go. Okay, let's just bring the pressure up as well. Unless I really need it. I'm trying to bring down that fuel consumption. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be alright with fuel. Unless we get properly stuck, which is um, possible. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Why? Why? Get going nice and quick. I'm hanging around. Burning fuel. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this hell? <laughs> Great. I sort of knew that was probably going to happen. Um, luckily, I think we... No, what? What do you mean I can't use it? No! What do you mean? One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Is there anything we can grab onto up there? What the hell? Right, can we use the infantry or not? Use an anchor. So maybe try and grab onto that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Oh. Right, calm down a bit, Scott. Calm down a little bit. You're a little bit flustered. I knew that was... I thought we could just whip out... So can I use a drag screw now? Um, devices... Returns can't be used from infantry. What does that mean? Does anyone have any... Uh, can someone... Sort of confirm what that... What that means? I'm so confused. What does that mean? I'm trying to follow the navigation points I put down. I'm hoping to see the tower. It's just up here. It's just up here. Uh, let's lower the pressure a little bit, not too much. Come on! Just gonna get, get a bit more purchase, a bit more grab on the uh, on the rocks. Again, one of the elements of this game I definitely like, the fact that rocks aren't completely devilish. I we found a few climbs in this uh, expedition. Didn't quite my intention. Scan, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Scan away. We have to go to it. This one looks more battered. It's similar to the first one, isn't it? Man, what an expedition this has been. I thought this would be an easy one. I mean, to a certain extent it was. <laughs> In inverted commas, it was just quite a bit of distance, I guess. The beams began to rust due to, sorry, the beams began to bend due to rust. We hope the government will quickly respond to this situation. Agree. What do you want me to do now? Take a photo of the damage. You want to go higher, don't you? Um, is this the best way to get up there? I guess. Okay. Try a bit more around this way. Come on. Oh no. 
please, don't you dare. So we, please tell me I've got more fuel. I do. Oh my god. Get going. Go. Oh. I don't know. Do you want can I still recover? Is that still possible? I think I can still recover, can I? You still come all the way back again. Which would be kind of daunting. Uh, uh. Yay! Oh my god, we did it. <laughs> I deserve every penny of that. It's actually a decent amount of money, to be honest. Oh, that was mad. That was actually madness. We did it, though! Um, an un unexpected find. Ooh. This looks tricky as well. Look at the distance. So what was the distance involved in that one? That was... What was it? Um, do, 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 urgent repairs. 3,700. Are you sure? I have to look at how far we actually did travel in the end. Because that would be quite interesting. This one is 6,000. 6,000. If you guys want to see that, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, what a mixed episode. What a mixed bag. Some high moments, some low moments, but we got there in the end. Thank you guys for watching, and bye-bye.